Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video and for this video I will be doing another pack opening and it'll be kind of a mass pack opening video. I've done a few of these in the past, they've been pretty popular because I think they kind of appeal to that audience that is kind of curious about what exactly what exactly happens when you open a ton of cartel packs. What are the drop rates truly like? What are your chances of getting gold and platinum items? And so in this video, I will be opening 10 Eternal Command Hyper Crates. And before I do that and get, in, get on into what kind of what the video is all about, I just want to quickly say that as you guys might have noticed, my video uploads have been a little bit scattered recently. Usually I'll go about three, four days in between my video uploads. That's not normal. I do upload a lot more regularly than that. And for those of you who've stayed with me for a long time, you know that I do, but the, I've just been really busy with school lately and so unfortunately the uploads are going to be a little bit slow for the next few weeks maybe the next month or two but after that I will definitely be back on track I'm also trying to organize some live streams and some guild stuff but that's on another note and a topic for another video let's get into what this video is all about so as you guys can see I did end up picking up eternal command hyper crates for 20 million credits each and I thought that this was um, a great opportunity to do another mass pack opening I did end up buying 10 of them, which is a total of 200 million credits. And as you guys will see by the end of this video, I do not make my credits back. So a little bit of a spoiler there for those of you who might have been um, wondering. Yeah, did not make my credits back. I guarantee you this video will become a rant video because the drop rates are just so crappy at the moment. And I've talked about this in the Stalwart Leader Command Pack. I'll try not to repeat myself too much, but when I did that pack opening, I opened like three Hyper Crates, got about a total of eight gold items, which is less than um, three gold items a crate. So yeah, you'll see a similar trend along those lines with this video. I will not be once again focusing too much on the actual contents popping up on the screen because I kind of narrate this without even looking at the screen. Uh, this is kind of just a, here is a video of the openings happening and I'll be talking over it with my thoughts on the cartel pack with some analysis of the drop rates and then finally probably ranting a little bit on how Bioware can improve the cartel packs and really um, some of the more important concerns about this. So if you're curious about the drop rates or if you're just like listening to people rant about cartel packs, this is the video for you. Let's get on into it. So I kind of talked about the background of what's going on. I did buy these for credits and 20 million credits for a hyper crate is a really good deal at this point in time because you don't see hyper crates drop below like 25-ish million credits. On the good day, maybe if people are undercutting each other by a lot, uh, you'll find a good deal. Like for example, with this one, this was just one guy who decided that he was going to put up, uh, how many did he put up? Like 15 of these for 20 million credits each. So he undercut the other guy by like 5 million. So it was kind of a stroke of luck that I found this deal, but also I got unlucky in the sense that I did plug in 200 million credits and didn't really make those credits back. Which is unfortunate because 20 million credits should be a good deal for a hyper crate. I mean, if I had plugged this much amount of money into a dark versus light uh, hyper crate, or so if I had plugged uh, this m amount of money into some of the older packs, like maybe the battler packs, or even the revenge packs, plunderer packs, visionary packs, I would have made my credits back because those packs had a better quality of items, those packs had better drop rates, those packs, I don't know, for whatever reason, I guarantee you, I would have made my credits back with those. But for some reason, with this eternal command pack opening, I just didn't make my credits back. And I'll try to talk about some reasons about why I think that is. Now, this is, these are 10 hyper crates. So this is 58,000 cartel coins, which is valued at somewhere around $400. So the items that I get in this video are $400 worth according to Bioware. And as you guys will see, that's not the case whatsoever. This is not even close to worth $400. That is over two years worth of subscriber game time. That is like, how much is that? Like over four or five PS4 games you could have bought, like new PS4 games. But for some reason, Bioware thinks that if someone plugged this amount of money to the cartel market, this is the kind of stuff they deserve. And it's just not the case whatsoever. And uh, the reason for that is simply bad drop rates. It's as simple as that. Uh, not enough gold items. Not enough gold items drop out of these cartel packs. As, I, as you guys saw in the Stalwart Leader Pack opening, I got uh, less than 3 gold items per crate. This time around, I ended up getting 40 gold items in total. So over the span of 10 Hyper Crates, which is 260 Cartel Packs, I averaged 4 gold items per crate. That is not even remotely close to acceptable. Honestly, the number should be closer to 6 or 7 on average. On a good day, you should get like 8, at least 8 gold items per crate on a good day. And then... Um, maybe I'm dreaming, but uh, you know, on average, it should be at least around six. I think that is reasonable. Four gold items per crate over the span of 10 hyper crates is not even remotely acceptable because 
at that point in time when you're opening so many cartel packs the number kind of standardizes right and um and so yeah if you're opening cartel packs expect something around four three gold items per crate and uh if that's enough to get you to buy the pack then i i just think that's unacceptable like i would not even go near a hyper crate that that um that had such a bad drop rate for gold items and then i'll kind of uh, you might be wondering platinum items well only one only ended up getting one platinum item out of 10 hyper crates once again so unacceptable i was expecting at least two and i think that's one of the reasons i didn't make my credits back because i was expecting at least you know the single saber i ended up getting the double saber which only sells on the harbinger for like 20 to 30 million if i had ended up getting the single saber that would have been like 60 70 million worth of credits and that would have definitely helped me make my credits back but nope apparently bioware thinks that 10 hyper crates is not enough to guarantee you a few platinum items Maybe one, and that's if you're lucky. Aside from that, people have commented in my videos saying that um, they've gotten lucky with their pack openings. Like People have been saying maybe you're just unlucky with your RNG because when we open cartel packs, we get tons of really great stuff. And to be honest, I think some people just kind of are lying or not telling the truth in the comment section because they say some pretty crazy lucky pack openings. And as the saying goes, video or didn't happen because obviously a video doesn't lie. But, uh, but if you're just saying kind of stuff, it's hard to believe some of the stuff they say. But on the other hand, I do recognize that you can have really lucky pack openings. I've had those in the past. Uh, for example, I opened a Star Cluster Nightlife pack and I ended up getting four two log cord helmets in one hyper crate. That was insanely lucky. Uh, recently, I had a really good pack opening of a Dark vs. Light pack. I kind of just opened one randomly, I don't know how long ago, maybe like a month or two ago. I ended up getting 10 gold items. So that was every three cartel packs I opened, I basically averaged a gold item. But that's not what happened. I think like I got seven or eight gold items in a row. So that's insane. I have the footage. I might put it up or something. Maybe I'll do a separate video on um, a compilation of some of the best cartel pack, pack openings I've done. And if you guys are actually interested in seeing that, just leave a comment. And I'll, I'll, if I have enough people interested in that, I'll actually put up a video on that topic. Because I've had some really insane pack openings. And, um, and granted, a lot of those gold items I got were Ceremonial Mystic, which is complete crap. Sells for nothing on the GTN. And isn't even really a nice armor set. But still, it was a gold item nonetheless. Now this might be going a little bit off topic, but uh, that's another kind of thing that they do. It brings up a good point. I think they mess with the RNG in, in certain tiers of items. So for example, you might think that if Bioware releases a pack with a certain amount of gold items, that those gold items all have an equal chance of dropping. But I don't think that's the case, honestly. I think they mess with it so that certain gold items drop are more common drops than other gold items. And this might be common knowledge, like you guys might be saying, well, no duh, they do that. But I did not think that was the case, honestly, and I think it's entirely unfair if they actually do that. But I, I'm 100% certain they do something like that because when I was opening the Dark vs. Light crates, so many Ceremonial Mystic armor sets popped out of there. And there's just no other explanation for it. Uh, it can't be just RNG or chance or whatever. It is 100% guaranteed that they mess with it so that the Ceremonial Mystic and the Visas Mar armor sets were much more common gold drops than any other gold item in the pack. And they might be doing that similarly with the newer cartel packs. Like for example, with the Stalwart Leader pack, in my pack opening, I got tons of the Resourceful Engineer. In other pack openings I've seen on YouTube from other YouTubers, they got tons of the Resourceful Engineer armor set, which is the worst version of the gold armor set. It's a terrible looking armor set. And, um, and maybe they messed with it so that that was a much more common drop than like the Emperor Mantle's armor set because those armor sets seem to elude everyone. People aren't getting it as much as they're getting the other one. And so maybe Bioware's actually messing with the RNG. I don't know. I think it's terrible and I think it actually um, on that level kind of shows that they recognize that some of the gold armor sets they produce are crappy because why, what, you know, for what other reason would they make it more common than another one? They recognize that it's a worse gold armor set, that it's crappier than the other ones. And, um, and so that's just lame. And they do that, they probably do that, honestly, because I've opened tons of cartel packs, I'm just speaking from my experience. So due to the bad drop rates, I did not make my credits back. I think in total, if I was a little bit generous with how many credits I can actually make, all of the gold items I get from this pack opening would make me around 110 million credits, then the 50 grand chance cubes would, or sorry, the 100 grand chance cubes would make me around 50 million credits. So that's 160 million right there. And then maybe, just maybe, if I sold the silver and uh, the silver decorations and the bronze stuff and the companion gifts, I might be able to make 40 million credits. But the bottom line is I would be struggling to make my 200 million credits back. I would be really be struggling. And for the most part, I probably would have lost out on a few credits. 
I did end up opening the Grand Chance Cubes, um, and I'll show that here as well, so I guess that's a nice little add-on. It'll be a opening of 260 Cartel Packs and also 100 Grand Chance Cubes, and you can get a really good sense of how bad the drop rates are, because I don't end up getting anything good out of the Grand Chance Cubes. I opened them in kind of a Hail Mary attempt to try to get maybe a really good drop to make my credits back, but did not happen. And I didn't expect it to happen. Grand Chance Cubes just have atrocious drop rates, atrocious. Now it's easy to complain about, uh, about cartel packs and that drop rates suck, but I guess what another question kind of is, how can they improve it? And to be qu entirely honest, I think that they had a really good system in the past. Uh, their past system worked such that they, the cartel packs dropped reputation tokens. And then if you got to a high enough reputation, you could access a vendor that gave you some of the rarest items from that shipment. So for example, with shipment one, or was it shipment two, I don't remember, but the bottom line is you could go to the shipment one vendor and you could buy the Revan's Mask from him, for example. Now to buy that, you would need a certain amount of reputation and you would need cartel market certificates. Uh, the reputation tokens and the certificates both drop from the cartel pack. So essentially it was a system by which if you opened a ton of hyper crates, you were guaranteed to get a gold item after a certain amount of time. So that system guaranteed that you would get the item you want if you opened enough packs. No such system exists anymore, and I think that sucks. I think abandoning that system was a terrible thing, but I kind of understand the reason Bioware did it, and the reason Bio Bioware doesn't improve the drop rates of cartel packs. And I think the reason they don't do that is because they are trying to strike a balance. A balance between how can they give us the crappiest drops, but still incentivize us to buy cartel packs. And the reason I think they don't want us having good stuff is because having a lot of these rare items coming out of the packs floods the market, makes it less valuable, less, uh, you know, people don't want it as much. And for that reason, they might not buy the cartel packs. And also they want it to be rare dropped so that some guy or some group of people will go ahead and spend hundreds of dollars trying to get a certain item and then maybe they'll eventually get it but the bottom line is it will have given Bioware tons of money. And, um, and I think that system is ultimately crap. I think if they put more effort into their cartel packs and they improve the drop rates, they would have more people ultimately buying them and they'll make more money. So, but the bottom line is that's kind of their goal. That's their incentive. That's why they're not really improving the drop rates and why they're abandoning really good systems that have worked well in the past. It's because they're trying to strike that balance. They don't want us having too much good stuff. Once again, might just could be a conspiracy on my part. I might just be rambling on about things that aren't even true or don't exist. But in my experience of having opened so many cartel packs and having examined the trends of cartel packs, I think that is definitely the case. I mean, why even come up with platinum items in the first place? You know, they released tons of really great items that go as gold items in the past. Hell, they even released some as silver items. The Cathar Honor Sword used to be a silver item. They only changed it to gold later to increase its, um, to lessen, sorry, decrease its drop rate. And so why introduce platinum items? Because it's a great way to get people to spend more money on cartel packs. That is their ultimate goal. And I think they need to really change that up because I think right now cartel packs are kind of dead. They're worthless. They're a complete waste of money and um, they need to be reformed a little bit. The other kind of, uh, the other way they can kind of improve things is by having more things accessible through in-game rewards without cartel market, without credits. Things like that reward you for skill, for having played the game a lot, for having, you know, performed well in a war zone or in a raid or something like that. It's ideal, it's probably not going to happen, but it would be nice to see that implemented. Maybe even get cartel packs as a reward, like win five war zones in a row, get a certain cartel pack. You know, it's hard to win five war zones in a row, but if it happens, at least you're kind of rewarded for it with cool cosmetic items that you don't have to pay money for. Now, on one hand, I kind of recognize that cartel packs are not meant to be taken this seriously. And I do get that. I do get a few comments of people saying that, but I do totally understand that point of view, that cartel packs are meant to be just fun little gambling on the side. Uh, now, if Bioware didn't charge money for them, I wouldn't care so much. I think the fact that Bioware kind of preys on people that like to gamble, uh, I myself, definitely fall into that trap sometimes but obviously I don't gamble with my real money I'm fortunate enough to get free cartel coins and now I can do pack openings for the channel and stuff like that but as you guys saw in this video I also spend tons of credits on it and back in the day when I didn't have so many credits I'm telling you it was a little bit of a problem like I was consistently poor because I couldn't stop spending credits on cartel packs and uh, Byro kind of praised on that a little bit and I feel sorry for people that actually spend so much money and then don't get proper reward for it and, um, and the bottom line is cartel packs simply are not fun in their current state. And the reason they're not fun is every time you're opening a cartel pack, unless you get insanely lucky, like I talked about earlier in the video, like you do something like get four Tula Court helmets in one hypercrate, unless you get that, which chances are you're not, 
you're not going to be making any credits. You're actually losing credits by opening them. Ask anyone in the game and they'll tell you never open a cartel pack. If you want to make credits, sell that cartel pack on the GTN. And, um, and if you buy cartel packs off the GTN, you're also basically losing credits. So how can a cartel pack be fun if when you're opening it, you know you're losing credits or you know that there's a 90% chance you're going to lose your credits? And even if you pay money for cartel packs or whatever method you use for cartel packs, the bottom line is you could just make so many more credits doing something else. I did a little bit of math on the side and back when the Eternal Command Packs were first released, a Hypercrate would net you around 25 million credits. You had to pay around that much for your Hypercrate off the GTN. However, you could have just spent that 25 million and gotten every single item out of the pack with the obvious exception of the Platinum items. Because back then, the, the Galactic Command Tuning dropped to like 2 million credits. The Fearsome Rage only cost you 2 million credits. Uh, the Eternal Command Flare was like 5 million credits. And you could literally buy everything. All of the gold items, all of the armor sets for around 25 million credits. So why in the world would you buy a Hyper Crate when you could buy, when you could buy um, all, all of the mounts, all of the armor sets, everything. Just have 99% of the pack unlocked for yourself just spending those credits. So goes to show that it's just not worth it. And obviously, I'm, as this video shows, do not open a cartel pack thinking, I'm just gonna try for that platinum item. Chances are you're not gonna get it. I have opened 10 right in front of your eyes and only got one platinum item. Uh, the second thing is, do not open a cartel pack for one specific item. Like, don't think to yourself, I really want that Nathma Sith spawn, for example, I'm gonna open a few hyper crates for it. Like, look in this video, I only got one. After opening 260 cartel packs, I got one gold mount. That was the Nathma Sith spawn. I got one Savage Falone. I only got two TC Voyagers. So you cannot open a cartel pack with the expectation of getting a single certain item. Chances are you're actually not going to end up getting it unless you're really lucky. In any case, I guess I should probably start wrapping up the video because I've been talking for my timer shows here is 17 minutes. Uh, that's a long time to go on a rant, but at the end of the day, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and now I know some people actually commented in my video saying, we like your ranting videos and that's what makes you unique and we actually want to see more of them. And so huge thank you and a huge shout out to those people that, that say that those kinds of comments to me because it really does make my day. What I was trying to do with my channel was I was starting to script more of my videos because a lot of people were saying, you ramble too much, you repeat yourself too much. And, uh, and so I tried to kind of make my videos more concise, more to the point, and I did that by scripting them. But as you guys have probably noticed, this is a totally unscripted video. I'm just going off on whatever tangent I possibly can. And I might do a four, few more of these videos in the future because a lot of people seem to actually like them. And uh, a lot of people say we kind of just minimize the video and listen to you in the background while we play the game. And so that's awesome. Huge thank you to all those loyal fans out there. Honestly, I, I might not show it enough. I mean, I hope I do. I truly, truly am so thankful for all of you guys. Uh, YouTube is just such a fun hobby and it's only fun because you guys are out there, you know, sending me nice comments. And I'm just really happy that my comment, that my content is enjoyable for you guys because that's really what it is. I know some guy commented that my videos make his day and honestly, that comment makes my day because knowing that my videos actually do that for someone, like people look forward to them, uh, just really, um, just really makes me so happy. So a huge thank you to everyone. And you know what? A huge thank you to everyone that actually made it this far in the video because you guys are the true loyal supporters that actually, you know, listen to me ramble on and on. And um, yeah, at the end of the day, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If anything, it's useful in that it shows you how bad cartel packs are and use this video as a, uh, as a disincentivizer to buy these things. So for example, if I were, you know, tomorrow releases a really cool cartel pack, but you know that, you know, you don't want to waste the money on it, just come watch this video and see the terrible drop rates for yourself. And then that way you might just feel disincentivized and, uh, you know, come to terms with the fact that cartel packs in their current state are just total crap. You should not spend credits on them. You should not spend cartel, mar uh, cartel coins on them or anything of the sort. Uh, if anything, just spend credits on the items that come out of the pack because, um, you know, that guarantees you your happiness. Anyways, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. I said that about 20 times. I will see you in the next one.